Okay, Steinmetz, we're back with more AMRAP workouts. And a reminder on an AMRAP. An AMRAP is as many reps as possible. Um, if any of you have done like Google searches on these or anything like that, you may have seen them as as many rounds as possible. Again, I, I don't like that because I want for you guys to finish your workout um, instead of, you know, bailing out halfway through a round. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to stick with the as many reps as possible. Again, a rep is how many times you do something. A round is how many times you go through a set of exercise um, or a set. So <clears throat> we're going to stick with five rounds of four exercises. So our first one for this next AMRAP workout is going to be a squat ISO, okay, an isometric hold on a squat. And your rep on this is however long you can hold it, okay? So every second counts as a rep. Okay, and then next we're gonna go into calf raises, then we're gonna go into lunges, and then we're gonna do burpees, okay? So again, the order is a squat, isometric hold, calf raise, lunges, and burpees, okay? Going through all four of those exercises is one round, okay? You're gonna do each exercise until you can't anymore. So if you can only hold the squat for 10 seconds and you can only hold it for 10 seconds and then you move on to the calf raise, okay? Then say you can only do 20 calf raises, that's fine. You move on to the lunges. Say you can only do five lunges, that's fine. And then you move on to burpees. And then you can only do three burpees, that's fine. You do as many as you can and then you start back up at the top at the squat hold, okay? So let me show you how to do these again. Okay, so the squat isometric hold. Okay, we're just gonna squat down and hold it right here for as long as we can. Okay, once you start to feel yourself starting to come up like this or your legs are shaking real bad, that's when you stop. Okay, because that's your body telling you it's gonna start to give in to make it easier on your body. So what that means is if you start to feel like yourself is coming up, okay, you're no longer holding these muscles the way we want to, so you gotta stop and come up and you move on to the next exercise, okay? Then in the calf raise, it's just a simple, you're just gonna get up on your toes and go for as many as you can. You may hit some ridiculously high number like 20 or 30 or 40 or 50, that's fine. These aren't very difficult exercises to do. If you wanna make them harder, so you're not doing so many reps, you can push up, hold for a second, and then come down. Push up and hold for a second, and then come down. That will make those harder, okay? Then your lunges, you can do them one of two ways. You can lunge forward like this, hands up, chest up, chest up to the sky, reach up, come forward and lunge, and then push back. Then you just do the other leg and come back. Or if you got knee problems like I do, a little bit easier for me to do them backwards, okay? So I just bring my knee up, reach back, squat, okay? Knee up, reach back, squat, and then come back, okay? Then the last one is a burpee. Okay, we're gonna keep these burpees simple. We're just gonna do them this way, okay? Jump, down, back, up, jump, okay? Again. Down, back, up, jump. And in case you couldn't see that, hands down, legs back, legs up, jump. And that's your burpee. Okay, what did I say, five rounds? Yeah, five rounds. As many reps as possible, not as many rounds. I don't want you to do it that way. As many reps. Once you start to feel your body starting to give in, listen to it and just give in, move on to the next exercise. You got five rounds as as many reps as you can. One paragraph reflection or a TikTok or video of you completing portions of the workout and you'll get full credit.